I'm going to make a quick review of this microscope I got here. Um, the review will be in 4K video resolution, but I go on to link uh, the result file. Like when I go and do a recording here, I'm going to link it in the upper corner here. When you click on there, then this little information icon comes out with a bunch of videos. I'm going to link the sample files of this microscope in 1080p. In the original 1080p I will upload to YouTube so that you can see how that looks like. Uh, let me start with this, how this goes. I mean, uh, this thing comes with a little remote control here, where you can turn it on and off, where you can change the brightness of those two extra LED lights that shine light onto your object. Um, it comes with its own power supply here. It's a USB 2 amp power supply, 2 amp 5 volts power supply that connects to a regular USB. Um, in here in the back it connects to this piece that is the power for those two lights and it connects up here. I hope you can see that. Yeah, up here into this whole screen and then in the back here there is the the camera that is screwed in with two screws. You can tilt the screen here if you need to and you can drive the whole thing up and down on this little thing here. Okay. This also um, gives you the maximum distance from here to down here. But then um, limits you from what you can see and how far you can see, okay? Let me do this in uh, inches. I go here. <laughs> Let me put this in more here. You can see here how far one inch goes. Now, what I also want to say is this. The blue background here is something that I added to it. Punched a hole in here and have it as an underlayment here. Because when I'm working with those computer boards, they, uh, because of electrostatic stuff, it's better to have them on the softer surface here. Okay, so up here you can see now our inch. So if you want one inch from left to right, you have to get closer, right? This is maybe a good thing to see here. Man, I wish I would have smaller fingers, right? So we go even closer. zero to one inch, a little out. There they are all in here. <laughs> so in this setting we have one inch from left to right. Look at that. That's interesting, right? This is a nice calibration sheet that came with a different microscope I had years ago. Very handy to have because now I know that I have one inch from left to right. See here my board that I can work with. Okay. In the upper left corner, there is a little recording button. Now, if I push my record button here, this thing should record. No, it doesn't. Isn't that interesting? So if you push OK, it takes a video. So now we should have, in theory, a video with um, a video of what happens here to this board on the SD card that is in there. We have the time in here. 
and date and I can go in here now and work on this if I want to take this zero ohm resistor off I just heat it up and take it there's a UV, UV filter on the lens I have a button here where I can change things where I can do switch it to black and white for example if I need this so I don't know if it's just the screen that goes black and white or if the video goes black and white that's the question and then there is one with different colors here to negative colors that um, you, as you can see brings out those scratches here on the thing for example you want to see so all the dirt down here will be highlighted black you know all those I can use the remote control to to I can change the sharpness from zero to three super sharp those kind of buttons 50 Hertz and 60 Hertz this is only important when this flickers here when you have flickering lights but I don't have and here you can do the brightness also, this I don't know if that really will happen uh, during the video recording. It's hard to say. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, this is this microscope. I like it a lot because when you have stuff on here, so we have uh, SMD boards and those kind of things. You can also, if you're a geologist, look at your rocks. Look at this here. Going to go focus here on this, and then the question for this kind of stuff is how close can you get? Well, on the rock, you probably don't have to work on in that moment. You know, how far can you go here? I'm going to focus on this. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Right, there's a hole in the rock huge hole. Look at this. And I don't know, I'm not a geologist, I don't know how this black and white helps you. Like there's almost no difference. The negative is also not, almost no difference. The holes turn white. Those kind of things. Okay, works. Then there is people out there that do coins give my two cents here. Yeah. Oh, there's my coin. Um, I think coins probably you wouldn't want to have the whole coin in here. How far do you have to go out to display the whole coin? So for example if you'd sell a coin on eBay and you need a great picture of it interesting in how this looks like. There for example, right? And then you can play around here with your lights. And you can turn those outer lights off or put them on the way and use the internal light here. So there is a light in the microscope itself. You can change that. I don't know what's the best deal here to in illuminate this clearly. This way. They have the whole world on there, on their coin, the European Union. Look at this. This here is Earth, and this is the shape of Europe here. That's crazy. Let's see how it looks like on the other side. That's an uh, oak branch, oak tree. 2002. I don't know why it's blue. Okay, that. Then um, there's probably people out there that work on the watch. Look at this. So when you look at the watch glass here, you do see those dots here, this is the LEDs that are around the, the lens. So you can turn those off here. 
Now you have only your outside light, right? You have to be careful with reflections here. There we go. And now you can look at your watch. Depends on where you focus. Very scratched surface here. Okay. You see on my watch that it jumps two seconds always. See that? It doesn't go second. Now it goes second by second. It did every two seconds. So the reason for that is that the battery is empty in here. So putting this much light on here is going to charge the internal battery of the watch. So it's good if there's light on. Um, on the remote control I also saw here, you can flip your screen around. I don't know what plus is. Oh, line setting. Crosshair, on and off crosshair. On. Look at that. Crosshair. Direction. Width to position 170. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, so the rad crosshair. You can change the position here. It's interesting, right? I don't know what this would be good for, but... And... I don't know how to get out of this. Oh, here. With... Two, eight, if you want an eight pixel width here on this one, you can have it. Again, I don't know if this is on the video or not. That is a good question. Color, or oh, the color of the cost here. <coughs> Interesting. Um, the direction of the cross here, there or there. Interesting. Lion. What does that mean? Lion 5? For what? What does that do? And on off. Yeah, so this is the line setting here. The plus button here. <laughs> so it has more than you thought it would have. Default setting. Yeah. Um, not sure what else you want to look at. We have almost 15 minutes now. The back of my watch, maybe? Yeah, also very scratched. And then let's take a look at the, the board here. There's like little tiny resistors and stuff. I have to see um, where this is. It's over here. There, a very tiny one. And we want to see how we can get closer and how that looks like. And the question is, so when you do this kind of stuff, how much space do you have underneath to work? So how close do you really want to be? And there. So it's this one here. Yeah, so if you heat this up, you can just pick it and good. Um, for inspecting this, you would look at bad ones, broken ones. Is that one okay there? This one looks good. Yeah. There's no more parts on here. Mm. 
look for the bad boys if there's one blown off oxidized cracked look this one here looks suspicious where's my this one here looks a little cracked there right so now if you want to know for sure you need to get closer sure how far we can go that's max on the lens and then we need to go back up so close up looks a lot better than it did from far away the good part is that you can let go of it and um, with my remote control I can push buttons again. The sharpness on three, two. How sharp do I want it? One, zero, one, two. Is black and white helpful? A negative? All this kind of thing. Normal. A little darker, a little brighter. We can zoom in on this one, but again, so I don't think that's a great quality here. Hold and then you can take it out and it's still there. You know, keep the last, freeze the frame, and then go from there. Yeah, so overall, I can tell you I like this thing. It's a fun thing to play around with. Um, I would love to see more when it says hold. Which button did you push to hold? This one? It's the cold button here, that, so it's freeze, and then it's hilarious. So, let's try this. That would be the screen here of the iPhone. It's going to get closer and see if we can see pixels. It's always a good test. We can see pixels. We always want to see the pixels. Get it all the way in there. Not sure if we can focus on those pixels. Almost right, a little bit further up. There we are. Fix that a little more. That's the pixels we see here. Oh, this could be more clear, so let me back up a little bit. There. Yep, so that is the iPhone display here. That's how it's done. That's why you have a clear image. Because there's so freaking many of them. You know? Okay. I think this should be enough. Now, to stop my recording, I would push the OK button again. Here. And then I take the SD card out, turn all this off, and then up here is the SD card. I don't like the spot where it is because it's hard to get to. With your fingers going in here. I mean, you can go in there, but then how do you grab it? The SD card did not come with this deal here. There may be other deals out where that is the case. In my case, it did not come with it. And 
Uh, I'm just saying this is a fun toy to play with. No, I'm gonna put this online and see how you like it. <laughs>